Hey, what's going on, everybody? You know who it is, Raw Justice, and today I'm bringing you an epic, hip fire only, single wielded, non suppressed, flawless Scorpion Moab. Can I get a hallelujah? Alright, alright. So today is the QA video. You guys left your questions on the previous or two episodes behind, which was the BB90M1. And we only got two more machine pistols to get the hip fire only Moabs with, and then we're on to either shotguns or assault rifles. Still haven't made my decision up yet, but you guys asked me questions, and I'm going to answer that right now. It was a close tie between Scorpions and MP9, so I just picked the Scorpions because I thought that would be a lot cooler and more impressive. So, anyways, uh, let's get into this. Can I get a round of applause before we do? All right, all right, that's great. All right, so first question comes from JJKK, and he asks, "What's your favorite weapon to use in hardcore TDM?" Great question, JJKK. My favorite weapon to use in hardcore TDM would have to be the MK14. With suppressed, it keeps you off the map, and it's still a one-bullet kill. If you hit him in the leg, you might get a hit marker. I'm not so sure, but from what I know, it's a one-bullet kill with or without rapid fire, which is crazy. You'll be pretty much sniping people without a scope so you can use a red dot sight and still keep kill people with one bullet which is pretty awesome uh, my second best gun to use in hardcore would probably have to be mp7 because it has low recoil you can add rapid fire or extended mags which will increase the rate of fire and give you more clips if you use extended mags and yeah that will kill a bunch of people you wouldn't have to worry about being inaccurate or your accuracy will be off because it has low recoil, so as soon as you see the person, you could just pretty much snipe them down. That's how that's how good the MP7 is in hardcore TDM. Okay, hope that answered your question. Next question comes from X Ninja Nerd, and he asks, "How many flawless Moabs have you gotten?" Wow, um, this is a flawless Moab, so I guess I can add that to the list. Um, overall, I've gotten over 250 Moabs so far, and flawless, I would have to say maybe about maybe about 60. Maybe less, maybe 50, 50 or 60 uh, flawless Moabs I've gotten out of all those. Okay, next question comes from Tiggle. And he says he actually has a few questions. Can I borrow your enemies? Mine see me coming. Have you ever gotten a care package stolen? Have you ever died exactly one kill away from a Moab? First question, um, <clears throat> sure you can borrow my enemies. I don't know if you can, but <laughs> sure, I guess you can try. <laughs> That was a pretty funny question. Mine see me coming. Well, I can't really help you with that, but uh, try to find lobbies without people with super high KDRs, because I can only Moab people with under a 2 KDR. If it's over that, I know they're going to kill me, because they just have that skill where they're really good. And uh, second question, have you ever gotten a care package stolen? And eh, happens to all of us, whether we like it or not. Yes, I have gotten a care package stolen. Have you ever died exactly one kill away from a Moab? Well, have I ever died? Alright, man, I've died plenty of times one away from a Moab. It's crazy. Most of my Moabs, I probably would have around 300 or more Moabs because I died one off of a Moab. It, it's ridiculous. I just needed one more kill, one more assist, but I died. Plenty of times. Happens to all of us. Alright, next question. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Vivid Minds. Vivid Minds 4. He asks... Are you getting Black Ops 2? Great question again. Um, let's see here. If Black Ops 2 comes out, I know it's coming out for the Wii U. It's been confirmed. But it hasn't been confirmed for Nintendo Wii. I do know that it's coming out for Xbox, PS3, and PC. And what I want to do is, I want to get the Wii U, but I don't know if I can. My parents, not because of me. I know I want to get it. I know I can get it. But my parents probably won't let me. Only because they think that one console is the same as all the other consoles but I keep trying to convince them so if I don't get the Wii U I'll probably just get I don't know maybe a PS3 maybe or if I don't if I can't get that either which hopefully I can um, I'll get Black Ops uh, 1 for Nintendo Wii or Black Ops 2 for PC maybe I have a lot of choices in mind I'm not very sure if I'm getting um, Nintendo Wii U and I might be getting Black Ops 2 all right, next question. What do you use to record and what mic do you use? Okay, if you haven't noticed, I use an Easy Cap slash Dazzle. <laughs> the reason why I call it slash Dazzle is because the quality looks like a Dazzle, but it's actually an Easy Cap. 
and the reason why it looks so good for an easy cap is because I edit on Sony Vegas Pro but what I use to render the video out or process or no capture the video is virtual dub virtual dub is an amazing software but the thing is with virtual dub is that if your computer does not have a lot of space you probably don't want to be using this virtual dub it takes up one gigabyte per minute on average about so like if you have a seven minute gameplay the size of that file will be around six to seven gigabytes which is a lot it's is a lot of gigabytes just for a seven minute gameplay but that's what i use the great thing about virtual dub is that it captures exactly how it is on your tv so i play on a flat screen tv uh... hd so if i have if i bought hdmi cords if it um... compatible for my tv and the capture card i guess it will be recording in hd but yeah if uh... virtual dub captures the video exactly how it sees on my tv so the quality is going to be pretty good not the best but it's really good for an easy cap and the second question what mic do i use um... for my commentaries which i'm using now i use a Wii headbanger headset highly recommend it it's really good i had no problem with it it's not as good as a blue bunny or whatever you call it it's like a, it's like a mic uh, professional gamers use to commentate it's not as good as those but um, yeah it's pretty good I have no problems with it alright next question uh, vivid minds again vivid minds again for four <laughs> says uh, question what is the best scary game you ever played um let's see best scary game I've ever played would have to be the stupid maze game I remember like a year or two ago my friend showed me that maze game and I literally shat bricks. <laughs> I was so scared, I flipped out. I didn't expect it. My face was like zoomed into the freaking TV screen, or computer screen, and I was really trying to beat that game, and it's so suspenseful, because you don't know what's gonna happen next. You're just trying to get to that next level, and then bam, super scary monster, whatever that thing is, pops up, and yeah, it really scared me. Uh, but actual games, it would have to be um like real games that you actually buy. Probably Slender. If you guys don't know what Slender is, go look it up. It's not it's really not that scary. It's very, very suspenseful. It keeps you waiting. The noise in the background just makes you Ugh. It just gets really, really scared. It's like, where is he? When is he gonna pop up? And stuff like that. It's really scary. But the Slender, the actual Slender himself, he's really not that scary. He's not that scary. But um I don't have the game. I played it at my friend's house actually like a couple weeks ago. It was pretty recent and yeah. It didn't really scare me that bad, but it's really heart beating, <laughs> I guess you can say. Next question, K-pop fanatic asks, question, do you like oranges? Do you play any sports? And I can't see the first question he asked. One second. Oh, he says, what do I plan to do in the future? All right, great question, K-pop fanatic. Let me ask here the first one. What do I plan to do in the future? Uh, all right, I plan to be like one of those x-ray people that take x-ray pictures of bones which is the study of radiology, I'm pretty sure, and that's probably going to be my major in college. So when I grow older, I hope to become those type of doctor or whatever, if it's a doctor, I don't know. You just take pictures of x-rays and broken bones. I found that pretty interesting and pretty easy to do, and to get really well-paying jobs. So I guess I'm going to study that. If not, probably a physical therapist. And yeah. All right, next question by K-pop Fanatic, the second part. Do you like oranges? Yes, I love oranges. Only cold oranges, though. I can't eat warm, hot oranges. Like, outside, like, the ones they serve at school, just out there, chilling, that's warm. I don't really like those warm oranges. I like cold oranges. For some reason, I just like it when it's juicy. Take a nice, crisp bite out of it. Juicy oranges. Cold, though. That's what I like. So, I do like oranges. Third question, do you like, um, do you play any sports? Yes, I do play basketball. Um, for my high school, and I was in JV, JV basketball last year, and season, basketball season is coming up, but uh, I'm going to continue this in the next episode because we don't have any much time, and I'll see you on part two. Bye.